living things and their environment. Animal, adaptations. Objective, infer. That body structures help animals adapt and survive in their particular habitat. Have you ever wondered how animals are able to survive in the wild? Animals have certain adaptations that help them to survive. And what if you are having a snowball fight? You probably run away from the person throwing at you and maybe even try to sneak up on that person and throw some snowballs. Think about the way you dress in the winter. You don't wear your shorts and bathing suit when it's snowing outside. You wear warm clothes and maybe even a hat and mittens to protect yourself from the weather. The way you dress in the winter, as well as the way that you run and hide from someone throwing snow at you, are kinds of adaptations. We can separate adaptations into two categories. Physical and behavioral. Hey, I'm a walking stick. I look just like a stick you'd find on the ground. Physical adaptations. Our body structures that allow an animal to find and consume food, defend itself, and to reproduce its species, physical adaptations help an animal survive in its environment. Physical adaptation, camouflage, use of color in a surrounding, the chameleon can change its color to match its surroundings. Can you do that? Poisonous. Physical adaptation, mimicry, looking or sounding like another living organism, the viceroy butterfly uses mimicry to look like the monarch butterfly. Can you tell them apart? I'm the viceroy, not poisonous. I'm the monarch, poisonous. Physical adaptation, chemical defenses, like venom, ink, sprays, Physical adaptation, body coverings parts, claws, beaks, feet, armor plates, skulls, teeth. The elephant's trunk is a physical adaptation that helps it to clean itself, eat, drink, and to pick things up. Now let's learn about behavioral adaptations. Behavioral adaptations allow animals to respond to life needs. Behavioral adaptations are animals' actions. Remember that physical adaptations are body structures. Each organism has unique methods of adapting to its environment by means of different actions. We can divide behavioral adaptations into two groups, instinctive, learned. These behaviors happen naturally don't have to be learned. Learned. These behaviors must be taught. Instinctive behaviors, equals, happen naturally and don't need to be learned, methods of gathering storing food, finding shelter, fending oneself, raising young, hibernating, migrating. Learned behaviors, equals, obtained by interacting with the environment and cannot be passed on to the next generation except by teaching. In this lesson, we have learned about, animal adaptations. There are two ways to describe adaptations, physical, and, behavioral, Physical adaptations are body structures. Some examples of physical adaptations are camouflage, mimicry, chemical defenses, body coverings parts, behavioral adaptations are animals' actions. Behavioral adaptations can be instinctive or learned. 
the next time you read about an animal in the wild, or when you see one on television, think about its adaptations. Adaptation Remember these, anything that helps an organism survive in its environment is an adaptation. It also refers to the ability of living things to adjust to different conditions within their environments. We can do it, the picture shows an octopus. What adaptation does an octopus have to escape predators? A. It sprays an ink cloud to distract predators while it escape. B. Sharp teeth to scare predators. C. Long tentacles for picking up large rock. D. Sharp claws for defending itself. The correct answer is letter A, it sprays an ink cloud to distract predators while it escape, too. Sea turtles have many adaptations. Which of the following adaptations help a sea turtle to stay safe from predators? A. Flipper-like feet, B. Hard outer shell, C. Long neck, D. Large eyes. The correct answer is... is, letter B, hard outer shell. 3. The picture shows a chameleon. The chameleon change its color to match its surroundings. What adaptation does a chameleon have to escape predators? This is a good example of A. Mimicry, B. Camouflage, C. Symbiosis, D. Life cycle, The correct answer is letter B, camouflage. 4. The picture shows a monarch butterfly and a viceroy butterfly. While both butterflies look similar, only one of them is poisonous. This is a good example of A. Camouflage, B. Carnivore, C. Mimicry, D. Symbiosis. The correct answer is C. Mimicry 5. Anything that helps an organism survive in its environment, life, B. Life cycle, C. Ecosystem, D. Adaptation And the correct answer is letter D. Adaptation. That's all for today. Keep on watching and learn something. For more videos update please subscribe this channel, Sir Boyet Science Vlog. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.